Let's talk about sea salts. So there's so many different kinds. Have you figured out which one your favorite is? Test different ones, taste them. They all actually have different flavors and different prices. The gray salt is the most expensive. I prefer actually a mixture of all of them because I know there's health benefits to each one for different reasons, but a mixture of them kind of gets the best of all the worlds. So just play around with it and see what you like. I stick it in a jar and it looks really pretty because you can see the layers. <laughs> of the different colors of sea salt. And these are the salts that I use. So I've got um, the gray salt. They never seem to have a good Ziploc, so I stick it in one. And then I've got the real salt. And then I've got the pink Himalayan salt. And then I just put it in little layers in my jar and then shake it up. And that's what I use for everything. I actually make my own sea salt pills with that mixture as well and I can kind of tell which mixture is the best for my body, how I respond to it. It can make you more fatigued, um, but it can give you energy with the right amounts. So I have a condition that requires I take it. So as always, talk to your doctor about salt supplement. You're going to need some kind of electrolytes if you're drinking the amount of water that you should be on this diet. So electrolytes, most of what you need is found in that sea salt with all the different kinds and all the different minerals. In the, you can easily make your own sea salt capsules. You can get a little tray where you open them up and do them all all pretty and then you can tap them down and all that stuff. And I did that for a while. <laughs> But now I just sit in front of the TV with my bowl of, of mixture of sea salts with my bowl of empty capsules and I just fill them one at a time and put the cap on and fill it and put the cap on and fill it and put the... And that's a really good way to get your minerals and all the sea salt that you need if you don't like adding salt to your water, which I do not like adding salt to my water. That's disgusting. On a really yummy spring, we have a friend that drives by there and just picks up water for us. <laughs> and it's apparently, like it's been tested and it's apparently at the, the best water out there for all the minerals and things in it. So we're getting a delicious, really healthy, beautiful water and I'm so thankful for it. But you're gonna need some sort of electrolytes. Talked about it in another video. It's called the Adrenal Cocktail, and it's got vitamin C, potassium, and sea salt. The, vit the vitamin C just kind of makes it more palatable. <laughs> and you drink it warm before bed, and it can really help you sleep. And it's the electrolytes that you need as well for your day. So lots of options for you for making sure that you get your sea salt in if you don't like to really salt up your meat. I love a ton of salt on my meat. So... <laughs> I'm getting a lot that way as well. Tell me how you get your salt in. Do you just add extra salt to everything? Do you put salt in your water? Leave a comment and let me know how that's going. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll talk soon.